All right, so we're back at it for another day. And uh, we're working on a newer spreader. Uh, a little close, but yeah, we uh, have the PTO shaft out of it now. And uh, we have a little bit of, we did a little bit of tearing apart on it just to see what happened. And from the looks of it, you can kind of see she's a little, a little finagled right there. Uh, the bearing, if you guys, where's my light at? You can see the bearing kind of exploded. Actually, it was it was just the housing that exploded. The bearing, I think, is fine, really and truly. Um, what I think happened was the keyway sheared off. The stuff we were running had a lot of rocks in it where they had gotten it from, and we didn't know that. It, they were loading it, you know, and they, anyways, the rocks ended up in the spreader, and I think between the beaters and what up, what not, um, the keyway sheared off and the gear, because it's a spline shaft, or not a spline shaft, but it's a keyed shaft, and it actually sheared it right off. I think that's what happened when the uh, sprocket came off, and when the sprocket came off, the chain came off. And when that happened, it started shaking. And, uh, you know, then boom, that's what happened there. So, now we gotta fix it. And some of the, the damage is the fact that it, uh, yeah, kind of exploded and bent everything up. So, I guess I'm gonna start cutting this plate out right here. I'll just cut these few welds on each side. There's three of them. Pull that plate out. See if I can straighten this back one, and if not, I'll just cut it out, that out, and I'll use this as a template for this back one, and we'll just weld them both back into place and be done with it. And then get a new bearing housing and put it all back together, so. Basically, we got it all apart now, except for fixing everything. We got the old bearing off, or chunks of bearing housing, and we got the plate cut out. And looking at it, I don't know if we'll be able to bend it back in. Looking at it, I mean, you can see that it, this side took the brunt of the load. And it's not lack of grease, trust me. There's grease everywhere. It was well well lubricated, so it wasn't a bailing, bearing failure. But looking at this, I I don't know, because this side is pretty much straight here. It's got a little fatigue there, but not much. It's really just this side. So I'm thinking if I come in with the scraper, clean it up, then bring the torch over, heat it up, I should be able to beat it back into place. Once it's beat back into place, I can then go through and fix the little cracks that are in it with the welder and weld that back in. And then I'll clean up where the old plate goes and weld it in and should be fixed then. All right, so we're ready to use the torch on this thing. Got my sweet striker here. Got the torch and I got fire protection. Figured since uh, I'm the only one here, I should probably have that close. And it looks like that might be the stuff down in the bottom of that it might be just a hair bit flammable. And uh, yeah, I don't feel like cleaning it all out because I don't think it'd really go that well. So just figured I'd have the protection here. And if I need to, I can go get the hose. But yeah, so let's see how this goes. I'm really hoping it just goes right back into place. No problems this is what I'm really hoping. So fingers crossed.
I think it's as good as it's gonna get. She's not perfect, but definitely better than what it was. We didn't do anything with this side. I figured I'll just tighten up with the bearing. I think we are gonna have to, uh oh, press on this stuck. I think we are going to have to uh, make those holes half inch again. Um, but I do think I need to weld around them, so we'll get that taken care of. I'll let it cool down for a while. Might go to lunch, get some food. Time to come back, it should be cooled off, so. All right, so we've gone through, welded up all the cracks that were in this thing. I just don't think you can, there's anything left. Oh my gosh, this magnet. But yeah, anyways, all the cracks were welded up, taken care of. We had one crack over there that we fixed as well. Got them all sanded down, or ground down with the flappy wheel on the grinder. They look pretty good. Um, pretty happy with how it turned out. Got the holes drilled back out to half inch, so. Yeah, hopefully everything uh, goes back together now, and we can... Oh. I forgot. We gotta do this one over here. Uh, we gotta take... Looks like we got two bolts to get that out, and that way we can fix it. I'm gonna take this pin out right here. Uh-oh. Can't do this with the camera. This arm here, it's got a little... A little twist to it, just a, just a little bit, you know, just enough to say there's one. But, um, the only issue I think I have is that I don't, we might not have a bearing housing to put back on it right away. So, I'll have to look around and see if we have one. You know, I, I guess I should go look and see if the bearing is good as well. That's the other thing I should do probably. Well, the bearing's there, right? Um, so without really looking at it, I'll have to clean it up and stuff, but I might have a housing actually. I just don't know where to look for it. But yeah, I think that's our only thing delaying this project from getting done. But, you know, if that's the only thing, we're not doing too bad. So I'll have to look around and see what I can find. All right, don't mind the pressure wash in the background, but this is what we got going on. So you can see this hole, or this keyed shaft is a little messed up. As in, uh, we got a little, little bit of wiggle room in there. You can kind of see it fades off to one side, just a little bit. So, you also can see that the keyway is still in there, in the shaft, or in the sprocket. So, I think what the plan is, is to knock the keyway out of this, make sure that's the right keyway, and then I think I'm gonna take the welder, and then I guess I'm just gonna try to, I don't know, make new shaft there. All right, so now I got the welds put in there. That is blurry. I'll just take this wheel on the grinder, just touch it up until uh, the keyway fits again. So, plain is, hopefully it turns out. All right, so both sprockets are on. Um, I'm kind of halfway thinking about maybe welding this one on. This one's welded on. This one might as well be too, right? I mean, the shaft here, you can see it's kind of got a twist in it, so. Could technically use a new shaft if you want to go that far, but you know, it's one of those things. Um, the bearing seems good from what I can tell. No uh, cracks in it or anything like that. I'll probably go finish cleaning it up now that I got it off and make sure. But if I just put a little well down here, should never have that come off again. I'd rather replace a broken chain than uh, do that. So. I mean, yeah, you know, that's the one way to fix it. Might not be the best way, but it is the easiest way, so. 
All right, so turns out we got this all together and the shaft is bent. Uh, bent enough to make it so we can't use it. So we just ordered a new one and are getting a new sprocket for it. So yeah, now we get to wait for parts to come in. So that's what we've got going on now.